Like all of us, kids are learning to adapt in a COVID-19 world. We do hand sanitising, we do do some social distancing just to keep safe. We don't have great assemblies, we have to stay in our years. Cough in my arm at all times. We wash our hands five times a day. Our morning Monday meetings are digital. Scissors, paper, rock. But in the United States, with so much coronavirus still circulating, doctors are warning these measures aren't enough. And they say children need to be vaccinated to help stop the spread. We know that when we want to get to herd immunity, you know, in, in a large enough segment of the population vaccinated, that that's got to include young adults and, and teenagers and, and, and also children. Because even though they're not the ones most directly affected, they're not high rates of death, we know that they can spread the virus. Dr Van Cherry is part of a global clinical trial to test the Pfizer vaccine in 2,000 children aged 12 to 15 years old. 15-year-old Nick Haynes is one of the volunteers. I did it just because um, I know my mom had been uh, bugging me about it. And um, also I thought it would be really cool to be one of the uh, only kids in the world to get the vaccine, or potentially get the vaccine. Here is what we're going to be talking about today. Nick's 17-year-old brother Patrick is also enrolled in a trial of the same vaccine for older children. It was just kind of cool to be like in a study helping people get the vaccine and ending the pandemic. Their mother, Dr Monica Haynes, is a paediatrician. I wasn't going to force this on my kids, but they know just from growing up with mom about how vaccines and shots you don't like them, but it helps keep you healthy. And it, it, you know, it avoids illnesses and, and deaths, to, to be honest. Both vaccines available in Australia are already being trialled on children overseas. The Pfizer vaccine is being trialled on children aged over 12, with plans to extend the trial to younger children. And the AstraZeneca vaccine is already being trialled on children aged over six. If the trials show promising results, Doctors say Australian health authorities may decide to vaccinate older children. Currently, children under 18 are not part of the rollout plan. As we move to having a large majority of adults immunised, say, by around October here in Australia, we'll be looking next to where we can um, make more gains in stopping spread of the virus. And immunising, say, particularly teenagers in the first instance, could well be a critical next step. Experts say this will be important in helping build protection against emerging variants of the virus. If we can get a lot of the population vaccinated very quickly, those variants sort of don't have a chance to, 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 to emerge and spread uh, in the population. Many kids are happy to play their part. I think vaccines are for the greater good and they stop not just me getting sick, but also the people around me. I don't like sharp doctor things at all but um, once it's done I feel a bit safer. It's kind of scary because it hurts um, but of course you got to do what you got to do to get rid of coronavirus really. Yeah okay. But the challenge for government may be bringing parents along too. I understand parental concern but I also you know I'm very comfortable with the science behind these vaccines. Australia has a very high immunisation rate in children at about 95% and health experts say they'd expect a similar take-up of COVID vaccines for children if the trials prove they're safe and effective. Sophie Scott, ABC News.